Hey girl, hey! So today I'm going to be talking about all my January favorites, beauty favorites. So you know the drill, just no February. I totally meant February. I am so excited for March. February was a decent month. Um, I have nothing else to say. I have a decent number of beauty favorites, so it was kind of the month of drugstore products for me. So let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is a couple of eyeshadows that I rediscovered this month. And I forgot how much I freaking love the CoverGirl Shimmering Sands palette. This was the first eyeshadow I ever tried, ever, probably in like 7th grade. And I've repurchased this probably like 3 times at least. And I used to wear this every single day of my life. And then I just discovered other eyeshadows and wore other ones. And recently I picked this up again because I reorganized my makeup collection and I like re discovered, I guess, or saw a lot of products that I completely forgotten about and I forgot like how good it really is and basically it's just three colors, um, dark, medium, and light. They're just good for an everyday neutral look and anyone can use them and um, they have pretty good pigmentation and they're just really good all around. So I definitely recommend this to anyone who wants a cheap eyeshadow look or it's just starting out with makeup. And then this other eyeshadow is amazing. Seriously, I could probably use this every day on my lid and make it work. And um, I've raved about this before, but I just really want you guys to know that I'm really obsessed with this eyeshadow. But it's by Prestige, and it's called Comet. And it basically just looks like this. It's so pretty. It's just like, it kind of is like Naked Lunch mixed with all the glitters from MAC. But it has an amazing finish, it's a good formula, and the color is just beautiful. You can see that it has kind of like a waffly pattern, but I definitely recommend this. And I remember it being really inexpensive at the drugstore. And I have been using this eyeliner. This is the Starlet Eyeliner in Chocolate. And, oh, all I want is peace, love, and chocolate, I guess. Um, but it is just basically a reddish-brown eyeliner, and it's just a pencil liner. And I've been really liking this for filling in my eyebrows, actually. Previously, there's a swatch of it I've used just, like, powder to do my eyebrows, but I think pencil, I forgot how much I really like to use pencil because it's quick and easy and um, really pigmented, so it's easy to control, too. So I think this has been doing a really great job of it. And then I have two mascaras that have been amazing, and I wasn't sure if they were going to live up to their hype because I heard so much about them. Ugh, I almost dropped it again. But um, I hauled these in my drugstore haul a little bit ago, and it's just like literally all anyone's been talking about, but I really, really, really like them. So I bet you can guess. CoverGirl Clump Crusher and Maybelline The Rocket Mascaras. I always use my Urban Decay Eyelash Primer Potion, and then I would put the Rocket on and kind of brush it out with the Clump Crusher, and I liked it. Um, but a couple days ago, I tried it the other way around with the Clump Crusher first and the Rocket second, and I actually like that better. I think it looks a lot better. I don't know. I think they look really good, but um, that's for you to judge. Oh, there. I really like them. Is this a little too close for comfort? And I have a skincare favorite, which is the Benefit Triple Performing Moisturizing Facial Emulsion. Um, it just looks like this. It's in a cute little glass bottle, and it is a pump, and I think this stuff is amazing. I, My moisturizer, I'm really back and forth. Like, a little goes along. I don't know why I'm swatching moisturizer. What am I doing with my life? Anyway, in the winter, um, I go back and forth with moisturizer a lot. It's really annoying for me to find a good one. And I would use the Sephora Instant Moisturizer, and that was good, but it wasn't moisturizing enough. Like, I thought it was, but I would still get dry patches, and I was just like, wow, my skin's really dry. And then I would try and use the Pond's Dry Skin Cream, which is really good, except that was, like, so moisturizing that it would, like, give me zits um, occasionally, and I do not break out easily, so that was really annoying for me because... I, like, I couldn't find a balance. It was either my skin was flaky and dry or I would have zits. So this has been amazing. It's the perfect balance and it's the, just, it like, it moisturizes, it moisturizes my skin just enough, but I haven't had problems with it being oily or anything. And it's just a really, really good moisturizer. So if you have skin like mine where it just, it gets kind of dry, but it, like, if you over moisturize it, it won't work, then definitely try this moisturizer. I think it's amazing. Lip balms! I have the Maybelline Baby Lips. I have loved this one. Um, I also have Pink Wink. This is just the original one. Uh, what's it called? 
uh, ah, I don't know, there's no name on it. Quenched, quenched, it's the clear one, and I love this. It's so moisturizing, it feels so good, and of course it's adorable, but I don't really like Pink Wink that much because the color is just too light and it looks weird on me, so, but I do really like this one, so I, I like the formula, I just didn't like the color of Pink Wink. This is my new favorite lip product, I swear, the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm. This is amazing, this one is in the color... Um, I should really look this up before I do the... F I'm pretty sure this is the watermelon one. I love it and it's so moisturizing and it gives the perfect amount of color. I've basically worn this to school every single day and it's not too pigmented. It's gorgeous and I love it. It's so like smooth and I just, I'm obsessed with it. This one is also in my haul. I have a lot of stuff from this haul in here, but whatever. I just really liked it. So I did good shopping. Essie No Place Like Chrome Nail Polish. It is as good as I thought it was going to be. I love it. And it's probably going to be one of my new most used nail polishes because it's perfect. And then I have the Nail Teeny Nail Polish in Millionaire. And it is this really cool um, confetti like glitter polish. Um, it's kind of like feathery looking on your nails because it gives a really cool texture. Warm pinky golden color with some green and blue in there too when it reflects. And I really liked this over a nude nail polish. I kind of wore it for the week of Valentine's Day. And it's just a really cool effect and I really liked it. And then my lash nail polish is the one I'm wearing right now and I just got it and I'm already obsessed with it. But this, I keep saying obsessed. This is the Butter London Nail Polish in Fruit Machine. It looks just like it does in the bottle on your nails and I think it did the job. It's just so pretty and good for spring too. And I just think it's a really good light pink color. And my last product of my beauty favorites is the Benefit So Hooked on Carmella Perfume. And this is so good. I love it. I'm really, really picky when it comes to perfume. I usually don't branch out beyond like two or three. Um, but I smell this in the Benefit store and I was like, I need me some of this. And it smells so good. It's just like my perfect scent because it's caramely and sweet and vanilla and fresh and young. And it's just like, oh, it smells so good. It's just so good. I don't even know. It's just like a good scent for me, especially. And um, I sprayed this and my friend was like, what is that? And I was like, it's Carmella. You can use some. She's like, I will. Because it's just, it's, everyone loves it. I hope, I don't know, I love it. And it's just such a pretty little bottle. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Benefit. Oh, it just smells so good. I can't get over it. And my last favorite of this video is going to be a human favorite. And um, it's a girl who I've been following on Tumblr for a long time. And one day she like posted on her Tumblr a YouTube video and it was of her. She's like, new beauty videos up. I was like, what? Like she makes beauty videos? And she just started her channel last month and her videos are so good. Like when I first started my channel, my videos sucked and hers looked like she's been on for a couple years now. And she's just so good and she's so much fun to watch. And like even if she has a long video, I'll sit there and watch the whole thing because it's just so good. And she's just, she really knows what she's doing and... I think she deserves so many more subscribers. I love her and she's just been someone that I, I, I've been really enjoying watching. So her, I haven't even said her channel. Her channel is Miss Molly Ann 14 and it'll definitely be linked down below. I definitely suggest you guys check out her channel and subscribe to her because she deserves it and she's so sweet. I've talked to her a little bit and she's just a really cool person. So I hope to meet her. Hopefully she's going to New York IMATS and I think you should check out her videos because she's amazing and she makes really great videos and you won't regret it and she's gorgeous. So. Yeah, that's my person favorite. Thanks for watching my February favorites video. February, February, February. Does anyone actually say it like it's spelled February? Fe February, I, I just, February, that sounds much better. Okay, on that note, I'll see you in my next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know what your favorite products of February are down below in the comments. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Peace out. See you in March.